Hello, I'm Bob Clubs, and today on You Don't Know Jackson, I've got a very special guest. This is Andrea Alston. Andrea is very passionate about childhood cancer research, and she is going to do something a little bit crazy <laughs> that's going to try to raise some money and awareness, and we're going to be talking about that today. How are you doing, Andrea? I'm doing great. Thanks for being with us. So why don't you just start off by telling us a little bit about how you first became so passionate about childhood cancer research. Okay. Well, I've always been involved with um, cancer uh, through the American Cancer Society. Um, and But I had a friend that her son was diagnosed with um, neuroblastoma at 18 months old and um, Wyatt Glassstutter. And I followed his journey from day one. And as she put stuff out there, I realized that um, there wasn't enough funding for specifically for childhood cancer. Um, it was It's a common misconception that if you donate money, it's going to help childhood cancer. And that isn't exactly the case. Because as we were talking earlier, you have done a lot of research into this and really have found that to be true. Why don't you share a little bit of that information about uh, about how much money is going toward childhood cancer research? Okay. Um, so the National Cancer Institute, um, which is run by the federal government, they provide funding to uh, different cancer um, organizations and 96% of that funding goes to adult cancers and 4% goes to childhood cancer, um, which may sound like a lot, but there are 12 major types of childhood cancer and then countless subtypes. So each major type will have multiple subtypes underneath of it. And so all of those, um, all 12 major types have to share the 4%. Whereas with adult cancer, they're more individually like a percentage goes to one type of cancer, whereas with childhood cancer, it's lumped together, but there's 12 um, different types. So if a person wants to support cancer research in general, they can go ahead and support the organizations that they've been supporting, but if they're wanting to do childhood cancer research, mm -hmm. you have found an organization through your, your research into the subject that you feel is best for that mm -hmm. specific goal, and why don't you tell us what that organization is? Okay, um, that organization is St. Baldrick's. Um, it started, I don't know when it started exactly, but it was started by four men they were sitting around and decided that they would have a competition, that they would shave their heads, and that they would each raise money to see who could raise the most, and that the money would go to support childhood cancer. Um, and so the name actually comes from combining St. Patrick's Day, because that's when they held the head shaving, and bald, because they shaved their heads bald. So St. Baldrick's is what they named it um, and they raised a lot of money and they just continued to do that year after year. And that money that they're raising, uh, you were telling me that all of that is going toward grants for research. This is not an organization that runs a hospital. This is not an organization that, while there are or other organizations that will assist families with their daily needs or travel or mm -hmm. housing, this organization, that money is going solely toward research. And, and tell me a little bit about why you like that approach to fundraising. Um, well, because that is what's going to give a family whose child is diagnosed with cancer hope because there are so many um, of these childhood cancers that are, especially the more rare ones, that there's zero, um, it's terminal on diagnosis or very, very small survival rates. And it's because there's no money to fund the research. So, shaving of the head, huh? Yes. You are going to become St. Baldrick yourself, yes. yes. <laughs> so, you've got a date selected. What mm -hmm. date is that? September 5th. And why did you pick September 5th? Well, um, it's the first weekend in September, and September is uh, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Okay. So. All right. And you have a fundraising goal in mind? I do. Um, it's $8,000. Uh, my sister told me that I needed to set it high because I was crazy to not 
set it high if I was going to shave my head. Um, so my goal is eight thousand. All right, eight thousand dollars. And if people want to contribute to you toward this cause for St. Baldrick's, we're going to have a link here on the website that people will be able to use to uh, do that donation. Or if they want to do it locally, mm -hmm. um, locally you can take it to Cutting Edge Salon and Spa. Um, uh, there, she's collecting money there. Cause it's her sister. <laughs> it's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and is is sister cutting the hair? Is sister um, shaving the head? Actually, my sister will. Yes, yeah, she will um, trim it up. I'm I'm actually going to have um, some of the families and um, local kids that are are battling cancer to come in and actually That's do it. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. All right. So again, we've been talking with Andrea Alston, passionate about childhood cancer research, and we hope that you will join her in this goal that she has to raise money for childhood cancer research. Thanks for being with us, Andrea. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Appreciate it.